All right, guys, so what you see here is my AT&T Fiber 1000 uh, internet plan. And uh, the download rate is close to 1000 ad as advertised, but the upload speed is like super low. Um, my internet gateway, I'm gonna show you guys really quick, is a really old gateway from AT&T Fiber. And this gateway uh, came out about seven, eight years ago. And uh, I was the first one to get the internet fiber in my neighborhood. And I got this BGW210 gateway. Now, a couple of weeks ago, my Wi-Fi, which are all the devices connected to this gateway, starts to act really weird. I have Wi-Fi dropouts every uh, about five to 10 minutes. I'm gonna do another test, speed test really quick. And uh, um, so I think my gateway is is dying. And uh, so in that instance, I called at and I told them what ha was happening to my Wi-Fi um, uh, devices that's connected to the gateway. And they have agreed to send me a brand new gateway, which is right here. BGW310500 is the model number. It's got a few jacks. Uh, to connect all your existing devices. So basically, once you get this, okay, they basically give you this as a replacement and they told me to just throw away my old gateway. Um, but sometimes if you have the same gateway and your gateway stopped working, they will ask you to return your gateway. Okay, so make sure to follow the instructions uh, specific to your AT&T fiber, um, you know, internet, uh, support whether you need to keep your or discard your device or you need to return your device follow the instructions and for this gateway it just comes with a, a power cable okay that's all it comes uh, all i have to do they told me is just to plug this and replace the old unit so i'm going to go ahead and just plug the device as um, as instructed and show you guys the speed test and hopefully this one's wi-fi is improved and I wouldn't have a five to 10 minute drop out um, happening constantly on my phone. All right, so let's check out the speed. So this is a second speed test. Again, upload speed is, is definitely something wrong with the upload speed because I used to get 900 and 900 and now it's not. Maybe it's a gateway dying, I don't know, but let's find out what the new gateway is gonna give us in terms of the, um, the raw speed. All right, so the entire setup process is rather easy. They told me that when the light goes uh, white, it is down. So basically all I did is unplug my old device, plug all the cables to the new device exactly where they are. And you can see the model number here, BGW320. So I had a small upgrade uh, in terms of the device and hopefully up to date in terms of performance. Now this is connected. I need to set up my Wi-Fi and change the password and my access point all to my existing setups so that all my device can still reconnect using the same setup, password and uh, SSID. So I just finished with uh, updating the gateway. Looks like the download speed remained about the same. And uh, I'm interested to find out what the upload speed is. All right, so they kind of fixed the upload speed with this new gateway. I'm able to get uh, 900 uh, megabits per second of upload speed, which is, you know, rather as advertised. So with this new gateway, the cool thing is um, for all my existing Wi-Fi stuff, I don't have to manually update the Wi-Fi settings in this gateway. It automatically updates all the Wi-Fi SSID and password and save it for the new gateway. So all my devices are instantly usable and uh, the entire process is pretty automatic. So I would say if your Wi-Fi is having, you know, some sort of issues um, and your gateway is not performing as advertised, by all means, contact AT&T, let them know the issue. They are, they are run some diagnostic and if they decide, yes, your gateway is kind of bad, they give you a new gateway with better Wi-Fi and everything, okay? So hopefully this uh, answers your question. If you if you right now have a BGW210 and uh, your Wi-Fi is experiencing issues, your internet is experiencing issues, um, give AT&T a call. 
they might give you a new device, a new gateway that boosts your performance at no additional cost. Also with AT&T Fiber, there's no monthly equipment rental fee. It's all included in the single, um, the single internet plan cost. So you don't pay anything extra for this. But I think if you upgrade to uh, include a Wi-Fi mesh, Wi-Fi network, you might have to pay extra. But to just use the included Wi-Fi on the gateway, you don't have to pay anything extra, okay? So I hope you guys found this uh, a speed test and the diagnostic uh, video helpful. If you if you currently have a BGW210 and your internet experiencing upload issues and your Wi-Fi keeps kicking out, uh, give it into your call. Uh, they run some diagnostic test and they should be able to uh, either offer you a solution or give you a new equipment gateway um, that boosts your performance just a little bit and also uh, fix all the Wi-Fi issues um, if you have any. Okay, so I hope you guys found uh, the video helpful. And if you did, please do hit the like button or subscribe to my channel just to uh, support my efforts. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care.